Hey everyone, how you guys doing? I'm Erica. In this video, I'm about to show you how to use Pinterest for photographers. Now, this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial that can be used for bloggers, for people who sell on Shopify, for e-commerce stores, and whatever it is that you're trying to drive traffic to. You can use this tutorial to set up your account step-by-step. -step. So let's get started. Now, you want to go to Google and type in Pinterest for business, and you want to select the first option. It's going to take you to this page where it tells you to join as a business. You want to follow all of the steps, add in your email address, add in your credentials, your country. Now, as for your country, you want to select a country that if you are a local business, you want to select your country, obviously. But if you want your traffic coming from a certain part of the world, that's the location that you want to select. You also want to select professional for your business and you want to add your business name with keywords that relate to your business so if you're in the wedding photography you want to go ahead and select you want to add in your business name as wedding photographer food photographer lifestyle whatever it is that your particular niche is in you want to go ahead and add that in there you select two categories that you're interested in and just go ahead and set up your account. Now you're gonna be met with a page that you're gonna have to upload an image so that you can be able to access your account. You're gonna have to upload an image and add a website link, a, a, a board that you wanna save it to. Now for your first board, I advise, I recommend that you name your very first board, whatever it is, your website's uh, your website or your niche is about so once you go ahead and create that board and add a pin to it Pinterest is gonna allow you to use your profile without adding in your very first board or your image you're not gonna be able to access your profile so we're finished with that now what you want to do once you get onto your profile you want to go to the settings area and that is with these three dots up here you want to just click on that and you want to select settings now this is where it gets you know really interesting you want to add in your gender in your prof your business type is professional and your contact name you want to add in your keywords so for this profile i've chosen wedding photography and i've added that in as my profile name now my country is also the United States. I live in Lebanon, but I've put United States because I want to drive traffic from the United States to my blog. Okay, but for you, you're gonna be a local business or if you're in Australia, you wanna put Australia in there uh, because you're a local business. Next, you wanna move on to your, your business name and that is your profile section. So you wanna add in wedding photography as well and you want to change your image now to change your image you want to go to canva and this is a free site that you can go ahead and create graphics for your pinterest account now just go and sign up it's free and you want to go to where it says custom dimensions and add in 500 by 500 pixels and create a new design okay once it opens up the canvas you want to go to elements and just click on that and next you want to select a frame so you want this circle frame just go ahead and select that and you want to drag it so that it fits the canvas just go ahead and drag that and make sure that it's centered and it fits your canvas because you want okay now that's a little too much i want to get that okay that is great and you want to select your image now when it comes to selecting images for your pinterest account you want your images to be bright and if you're using your face you want your face to be close up so that when people get onto your profile the first thing they look at they look at your image and you want your image to be something that is relevant to your business or if you're using your own image or as a photographer you want to showcase your you've added in your frame you want to go to your images if you don't have any images in canva you can upload images by clicking this tab and adding in images or you can use um up here at the search bar to search for any kind of image that you want to use but i already have some uploaded so i'm just gonna grab one and i'm gonna drag it in here to fit 
So once you add your frames, whatever image you have is going to, you know, fit into that circle uh, box. So leave the background white. If you don't have Photoshop, you know, to be able to remove the background, you can just keep that white. And you want to go ahead and add a name. So I'm going to just put wedding. And uh, you want to go ahead and download it. Download it as a PNG file. So it's going to be awesome and it's going to fit perfectly on your Pinterest profile. Once you have that up and ready, we're going to go back to Pinterest. You go ahead and you add in your image. Once you change the, click on the change image, you're going to be able to add it from your computer. Now the next and very important part is your Pinterest URL. You want to have your keywords in there as well. Now. I went ahead and tried wedding photography and Pinterest told me that that keyword, that username was already taken. So I just added the number two at the end and it allowed me to go ahead and use that, uh, that particular keyword in my URL. Now, as you can see, I have my business name, wedding photography. I have my contact name as wedding photography. I have my URL as wedding photography and the about you section is very important as well. As you can see, I have wedding photography for newlyweds. Build an album of your dreams with our professional team of wedding photographers in New York. So for this profile, I am using my keywords. I'm looking for people who are interested in wedding photography in a certain area in the United States because I'm using this account as a local business. Now up here you had the option to put in your country which is the United States and down here you can put in your location where in the United States do you have your business if this is a local business. But if you're international and you're not looking for people from a specific area, you can leave this, you can just add in United States or worldwide. So once you have that set for your business, you can choose your feature boards. But we're gonna leave that empty for now because we do not have any boards yet that we wanna feature. Next, you wanna add in your blog, your website URL, and this is where you're gonna get a piece of code that you can add to your blog to go ahead and activate to, to validate your, your, your blog with Pinterest. So you add in the URL for your blog and you just go ahead and click on claim. They're going to give you a little tag and you can, you want to choose the add HTML tag. Just go ahead and click that and you want to copy this. Just copy that up. You want to go to your dashboard, your WordPress dashboard if you're using Word. And next you want to go to appearance and you want to select editor. This is how you'll be able to um, validate your website with Pinterest. Next you want to scroll down to where now every theme is different from the other. So I don't know where your theme header .php is going to be located, but it's usually on this uh, side of your, um, within your editor place, whatever. So you want to go ahead and just select the theme header, and this is where you're going to be able to add in your code. So where it says head, right after head, you just want to click on head, and you want to just uh, add in the enter click on the enter key and this is where you would be able to paste in your code. Once you've done that, now I already have my code in here, so I'm going to remove that. But once you've added in your code, you just want to go ahead and click on update file. Once you've updated the file, you go back to Pinterest and just leave that. If you're using a brand new blog, it's going to get validated or uh, claimed right away. So. These are the important parts of setting up your profile for Pinterest SEO. Next, we're going to move on. Now, once you're done, whatever changes you make in your settings area, you always want to go and click this little save uh, settings button or else you're going to lose everything that you've already worked on. So we've saved everything and now we want to go back to our profile where we want to work on our boards. This is a very important part of everything. This is how you're going to get traffic to your website.
Now, as you can see right away, my business name is Wedding Photography. Those are my keywords. And in my uh, About Me section, I have my keywords and my URL, my keywords are there as well. Now, usually your link for your website are gonna have keywords in them as well. Now it's time to create boards. You want to have a board for your website, your business, or your blog. It's gonna be the very first board that you create for your Pinterest profile. So I went ahead and created a board. Remember when we were setting up? Okay, so I created a board and I called it Wedding Photography. But when you're creating boards, you're not just gonna create boards at the top of your head. You wanna use topics that people follow and people search for on Pinterest. This is how you're gonna get found on Pinterest. So to do that, you wanna go up to, pin to where your URL is. You wanna remove everything after pinterest.com slash. Remove that and you wanna add in topics, I C S another slash and you want to put in photography and once you've added your keyword add another slash and hit the enter button it's gonna take you to a page where it shows you the amount of followers as you can see photography has 70 million followers on Pinterest but as we move below we want to open each of these subtopics in other tabs so as you can see wedding photography is already a topic on Pinterest that people follow when you create content using keywords using topics as your board names whatever content you add to those boards get seen by the followers of that particular topic I don't know if that makes sense you first want to go ahead and you want to create 10 boards on Pinterest. As you can see, nature photography has half a million followers. You want to copy this up, nature photography, and you want to go ahead and create your very first board on Pinterest. So just a second, I forgot that I already created a board called nature photography. So I went back and I selected street photography and to create a board, you just want to come to your profile and click on boards and just click this plus icon. And this is where you can enter the name of your board. So street photography, go ahead and click create. Next, you would want to add in your board descriptions. And this is very important. You want to choose the, the category of your board. You want to put it in the right category. So for this is going to be photography and I'm going to add in my keywords. So this is going to be street photography. Oh, P-H-Y. Sometimes I forgot that are amazing and stunning you're gonna have to do a better job than that but you want to have your street photography at the beginning uh, of your description and you want to make your description at least 500 characters with keywords so this is very important to have your boards ranking high on pinterest board search as well so once you choose your your category and you add in the right description you go ahead and you click save once you save the board you want to add pins to the boards and to be able to add pins to the boards very easily just go ahead while you're still in the board just click on more ideas now there are ways to get keywords for your boards and that is simply by copying this oops just copying that and go to Pinterest search bar and just paste that in there street photography and you just want to go ahead and paste that in there and Pinterest is gonna give you a lot of different uh, keywords up here that you can use in your boards description so you see you have urban people ideas color fashion model portrait city tips graffiti and all of that good stuff you can use these keywords to set up your board description it is going to be uh, you know so much better and your board is going to rank so much higher on pinterest if you use keywords that people actually search for 
in your board description. So once you click on more ideas, you just go ahead and choose the best images that you like and you go ahead and you save it to your board. Now you want to create 10 boards and at least add 10 images to each of your boards. So we're done with that. We want to go back to our profile. Now to be able to change your header on Pinterest, you want to go ahead and click this little pen icon and choose the board that you want to show at the top. Now I have nature photography for the boards at the top. So just go ahead and choose that. You're going to have this awesome big box up here. And I don't think that you should use that um, huge box that comes up here that slides. Just make sure you have 10 boards that are relevant to your blog and the topic that you blog about. And you make sure to grab these keywords like I showed you and create your boards around them. Be very specific. You find as many keywords like photography tips. You want to create a board around that. Let's go ahead and create one right now. It's you know very easy. So you just go back to your profile and just click that in there and add in your keywords and you want to add in your board description and all of that good stuff. Now let's move on to creating to activating rich pins. So to go ahead and set up your rich pins for Pinterest, go to Google and you type in rich pins, pins validator. Once you type that in, you're going to be able to, um, okay, this is developers. Just go ahead and click on the result. And this is where you would be able to get okay now you want to enter they tell you here to enter a URL now this is not any URL that you want to enter you want to go to your blog and you want to select a post so let's go back and visit the site you want to select a post the URL of a post that you have so open up one of these posts that you have on your blog just a second okay so let's say I opened I opened up this one you want to select URL for that post this is how you validate rich pins on Pinterest now as long as you just go ahead and copy that you go back to your rich pins validator now you need to be signed into Pinterest to be able to use this option just go ahead and add in your URL, paste that in there right there, and you want to click on validate. So I'm not going to do that because this account, I don't have a blog for this account. But once you add that in there, Pinterest is going to validate your rich pins right away. It takes less than five minutes. I've done it a lot and it, it doesn't take long to be able to validate. Now, you've done all that you have to do for your Pinterest profile. You've added all of your keywords, you've added your boards, and you've added keywords to your board names and your board descriptions. Now, those are the very important parts of Pinterest. What you need to do right now is you need to create images. You need to create tall pins. With creating tall pins, you can use different dimensions but Pinterest recommends that you use the two by three ratio now that is usually around 600 to 900 pixels these sizes but I don't use those sizes because I find them too small so I use 564 by 847 pixels when you're adding images to Pinterest, usually you will need to add the Pinterest pin it button that you can get from Google Chrome Web Store. Just type in pin it button and you're going to need to add that to your browser. You can also get the pin it button from your Pinterest account. You go to your analytics. This is why um uh, Pinterest is uh, so awesome the business account of Pinterest is really awesome so you want to go to your no you, you you haven't added a website yet so you wouldn't have the option to get the pin it button from Pinterest so you can get it from the Google Chrome store and you want to add it to your browser I have mine right here so we're gonna go back 
and it, once you type in the Chrome uh, Pinterest pinned button Chrome uh, extension is going to take you to this page where you can just add the uh, save it button to your browser to be able to add pins right away from your blog from your blog blog post I'm sorry guys and once you have your blog post opened up with your images everything ready on them you just want to click the little pin icon to save your images directly onto Pinterest now when you're saving your images onto Pinterest so you choose the image that you want you want to make sure that your images have alt text now this is when you're uploading your images to your blog post you want to add alt text with your description your keywords in your alt text so that they get brought onto Pinterest when you pin it your pin is gonna description that contains your keywords so once you get your pin onto there you want to save it to the right board it's very important to save your pins to the right board now if your pin is about photography tips you want to save it to photography tips now the best part of all this is that on Pinterest once you create a blog post you're able to go ahead and upload I know other other images for that particular blog post separately so one when you create a blog post and you've added using the pin it button you can come onto Pinterest and you can add separate images as well to do that just click the pin this little plus sign and select create pin you're gonna select your image that you want you can add whatever title that you want you want to add the right keywords in your description in your title add it to the right uh, board and you can also go ahead you want to add the URL to your pin so that it leads back to your website you can also schedule your pin to go out at a later date or at a later time to a different board whatever it is that you choose to do you can go ahead and use this section to do it now the next point that I want to stress out is that you should not worry about followers when you're just starting out you want to you want to worry about creating content content is gonna get you so much further than trying to go ahead and get followers now in 2019 Pinterest is all about content the more content you create and add to the platform the more they're gonna send you followers now when you want to create content for Pinterest you need to be very careful you need to choose keywords that people are actually searching for so if we go ahead and type in wedding photography you're gonna get met by other keywords wedding photography poses wedding photography uh, bride and groom now when you're selecting your keywords when you're a new account you want to select keywords with six or more keywords to be able to rank quickly on Pinterest search so wedding photography ideas so you have your C keyword in there you want to select a next set of keywords now wedding photography ideas for photographers now at the beginning yes you have your blog and your you want to send people to to order your services but using Pinterest in that way you know right from the beginning trying to promote your services is not a good idea you can go ahead and create posts on your blog wedding photography ideas for photographers this is gonna get people in the door now this isn't buyer keywords you can you can look for buyer keywords you know that that actually has a a customer you know targets a customer instead of targeting other photographers I don't know if you understand this instead of using these particular keywords but I just want to show you how you should get your keywords to create content around now wedding photography ideas for newlyweds or bride to be now that is a buyer concept you know that that person wedding photography ideas for bride to be that could be someone who's getting ready to get married in and by you creating those kinds of posts and adding them to Pinterest when they get to your site and they see the kind of work that you do they could order 
your service. So this is how this is how this works. But you always want to select six or five to six keywords to create your blog post around. Now you want to add these keywords that you grab off of Pinterest. You want to use them exactly as you get them as the title of your blog post, the link of your blog post, these keywords should be in the description of your blog post to be able to rank very highly on Pinterest. So you need to find keywords. You can also add your location, wedding photography for brides to be in New York. You can add those keywords in there as well to target a specific local audience now once you get your keywords you want to create your blog post around those and you want to create images your images should be beautiful they should be you should use colors they should be irresistible that when someone sees them they just want to look at it or click through it and 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 go to see where it takes them that's that's what's great about pinterest if you use good keywords, great titles, great images, your keywords in the description, and your pins in the right boards, you're going to have a lot of people coming to your website. So this is how to use Pinterest for photographers. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if this video helped you, please share it. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I wish you all the best.